What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Rollercoaster Tycoon. And I would like to take care of a few things to get started here. First of all, we, uh, ever since we built, uh, what is this called? Parrot Paradise. Uh, after putting the track, I think, through the loops, it really upped the excitement rating uh, by almost 0.3, uh, both V formation and L formation. So I went ahead and upped the prices there real quick. And one thing you'll notice is, right now it's not the most prominent example, but I sat here for a good 10, 15 minutes just kind of looking around my park. And uh, V formation seems to be doing much better than L formation. And I think part of the reason for that is that a lot of guests, they have a tendency to go forwards rather than turning. Um, and so I'm thinking if I modify this a little bit, I can get people to approach L formation, which is this one right here, this line right here, uh, from this direction, just as much as I get people approaching V formation straight on as well. Um, so I'm thinking in order to do that, you can put uh, walkway next to each other on an incline and they won't connect. They'll only connect on the uh, flat planes. Uh, but now people can get past my no entry sign. So I'm actually going to do a couple things. I want to add one there to prevent them from going back down this exit. I also want to do another one here so that all my guests coming off of these rides are forced to approach L formation head on. I'm hoping that will help increase uh, L formation's popularity. And then everyone else that just is wandering my park, uh, they can't enter here, but they can enter here. Uh, and so when they approach, they'll be approaching they will be approaching V formation head on. Uh, not sure if that's gonna do anything, but that's that's what I'm gonna try. Also, I took a look back at Flight of the Bumblebee, and as cool as it does look, I was playing around with a little bit of stuff off camera, and the simplest thing made it look so much cooler. This isn't near yellow with enough yellow yellowish enough? Yellow enough? Yeah, whatever, you guys know what I mean. There's not enough yellow. So all I did was change this, and to me, that looks so much better. So we're going to stick with that, because I think it looks really cool. So uh, that takes care of most of the housekeeping things I believe I wanted to take care of. Uh, we did just unlock scenery and theming. I don't think there's any really theming uh, or any packs of scenery or theming that I want to unlock for this park. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that just to improve our chances of getting more of the other better, cooler stuff. So it is time to build us a coaster. Oh, sorry. I was just about to sneeze. Um, I do want to build... Uh, not right now. I'm just kind of walking through my thought process with you guys. I do want to build a miniature railroad on this park. And I think we'll do that next episode. Um, and kind of get the the rest of our our park kind of framed as far as where I want to put stuff. So the miniature railroad is somehow going to work going to work its way through all of this. Um, and I'm thinking right here would be like a perfect place for a station, and then have the walkway extending over to this. Um, and then it's going to kind of loop probably around the ex outskirts of our park. I almost said X skirts. That's not a thing. Uh, but we do need to start getting our footpath here kind of situated as far as where I want to take this. Um, and I don't want to do too much because I don't want to be limited by the path I placed. Um, but man, that goes up so far. I don't want to take it through the extremely heavily forested portions of this park just because it's so much work to do that. Is that this tree? There we go. So we'll kind of do... I don't know. I just kind of want to put a little bit of footpath down so I can kind of have an idea of where this is all going to line up. Um, this looks more... If I take it this direction, it's a lot more flat. I think we'll end up doing that. So we'll go this direction and call it at that just for now. Uh, I did hire a few more handymen, like I mentioned. I believe I hired five more. Um, four more. That can just go wherever they want. That's why we already have a handyman in the footpath I just placed. Um, but that is something I needed to do, and I went ahead and did it. So I want to build a log flume. I think I'm going to do a log flume and a water slide 
both kind of in this general area. Um, I'm thinking we could do... If we start the log flume up here, we can do the entrance and exit on this tile, which allows us to do just a straight walkway all the way down to this kind of main path. And this is the most dense area of our park as far as trees go. So this is going to be fun trying to get this to all work. Uh, am I going the right direction? No, I'm not. I'd rather take it back out this way than extend it further off that direction. But yeah, I mentioned at the start of this episode that I spent a good 10, 15 minutes or so just kind of looking at my park. I've mentioned before, I like to do that before pretty much every episode. Uh, sometimes I spend more time, sometimes I spend less time, but it kind of gives me a, a starting point. Um, I kind of look at my park, see what I can do next, all that. Um, and this time around when I was doing that, I got kind of inspired. I was looking at some of the different menus. Uh, I don't like to just sit in menus when I'm making these episodes for you guys. It's not exciting to watch and nothing usually too interesting happens. So I don't really choose to include me just sitting, sifting through menus. Um, but while I was doing that, I realized there's a couple things that we get as far as like like, we just unlocked, uh, what was it, the classical Roman theming objects. There's actually a song that you unlock with that. I didn't know that. Uh, so on a ride, I can put music on it. There's a classical Roman song that I can use on these rides. Uh, and I was thinking, okay, how cool would that be to do sort of like a Roman-themed park? Um, I could easily make that work with these new items I just got, yada, yada. Uh, that's going to be in the way. I need to go up one more. Uh, but I was just kind of getting ideas based on, you know, the things we were unlocking, which I thought was kind of cool. I think that's a good source of inspiration. <clears throat> okay, so this is actually going to have to stay straight before we can drop it. I do want to go back down through this. I think that could look kind of cool. And I don't want to make this super long. I always say that on my log fumes. I know I'm sort of a hypocrite when it comes to that, but I'm actually going to try to end this fairly soon. If I can see, at least. Uh, but yeah, I got very inspired as far as different parks I can do. I probably have, I made a list. Uh, I probably have about four or five new kind of themes that I came up with uh, during that little brainstorming session. So... I, I'm I'm excited again for the themes. That's one of the most difficult parts for me is just coming up with a theme for a park because a lot of these parks already have stuff in them to begin with. Um, so it doesn't allow you to do too much as far as changing the theme around goes. Sometimes it can be the inspiration itself. Like on this park, I mentioned I looked around and everything had something to do with flight. Some of it might have been more of a stretch than others. Um you know, like hijack, blast off, whatever. Uh, but I still think it, I wouldn't have come up with the aviary were it not for those rides. So sometimes they can be great. Sometimes they can be not so great. Let's actually, we'll turn this so we don't have to get rid of that tree. I like that tree. And we'll connect this all. Oh, whoa, what was that? There we go. Oh, and look what I found out, guys. I, and I actually looked it up. Boom. Got rid of all open menus. It's beautiful. Uh, now, when I have this mess on my screen, all I can do is that, and it's all gone. Or all I have to do is that, and it's gone. It's beautiful. Uh, but also, if I X this out, then it gives me this. So I didn't really need to do that there. But I was just showing off my, my new tricks, guys. <laughs> okay, that's a fairly decent log flume. Uh, as far as the length goes. I'm hoping because of all the trees that it's nice and exciting. Uh, but let's go ahead and open Log Flume 1. We'll get a, a handyman, a mechanic. I don't know why I always mix those up. I shouldn't, but I do. <laughs> uh, we'll name this guy Log. I'll know what that means. We named our last mechanic in another park Flume, I believe. So... And for Log Flume 1, I actually want to name it the Bird Bath. <laughs> I think that's kind of nice. Nice and relaxing. And to go with 
that relaxing, we're actually going to do gentle style music. How soothing is that? Anytime I put this kind of music on, I feel like I need to need to soften my voice and just kind of talk all soothing like, kind of put you to sleep, you know? <laughs> but I don't want anyone falling asleep, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, what are we charging for this? Probably two dollars. Yeah, defaults to two. Let's bump it up to three fifty. I will definitely be changing that. Um, I'm trying to see where our nearest information kiosk is. Let's actually add another one over here. And I just, I just took a look at this, and this part of our park right here, just looking at this, it looks so nice, just because of all the trees. The rest of our park. No trees. I mean, there's a couple on the, the river here, but I don't... These are, like, very manicured, but there's just, like, no tall, natural trees. Um, I may or may not go back through and add some. Because I, I love this part of our park. It's just so nice. Yeah, it's extremely difficult to build in, uh, and I can't seem to ever stop complaining about it, but I think it looks really, really nice, so... All right, we're doing that lighter blue for our umbrellas. Sorry, I just went off on a tangent about beautification of our park. And since this is all water themed, let's put some, ooh, let's put some, uh, not that menu. So we got, oh, that's actually Cupid. I thought it was a bird. Uh, do we have any? You know what? We're going to pretend this is a bird, because that's what I thought it was to begin with. I can't X that out and place it. What am I doing? I'll actually place a couple of these fountains around, just to kind of give that water vibe as people make their way through. I know it's not super symmetric or anything, but I just kind of wanted some, some motion. That's one thing that I do like about adding some of these fountains is that it adds a little bit of motion. Um, trees are static, buildings are static, rides are static, unless you see an actual, you know, roller coaster train going over it. Uh, but that adds a little bit of motion to the park, which I think is very nice, very needed. And I realize this isn't doing incredibly well right now, but that's because no one is over here. So 420, perfect. All right, that is gonna do it for the bird bath. I don't think this needs any sort of paint job. I, it came out just fine the way it is. Okay, I did mention I wanted to build two water rides this episode, and if I didn't mention it, I do. So we're also going to build a water slide. I don't think we're going to do a, a, a boat hire in this park. We might. I might come to eat those words later. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, this spot right here wouldn't be horrible for one. Um, but let's do another one. I don't know if I want to... Okay, so we're in September of year two. That means we have two more episodes. At minimum, two more coasters. I think we can kind of spread things out. Um, I'm going to put the station of this... Probably somewhere over here, but the ride itself is going to come back through all of this. Uh, it's not going to be insane. I always say that, I know, <laughs> but that's that's kind of my thought process. That's where I'm, that's where I'm leaning. So all these trees right here, if we do it on this tile and start going up right here. Okay, yeah, that's gonna, that's what, yeah, that's what we're doing. So we will do max station, like, oh, actually, I don't think we need max on this. Let's try getting away with, hold on, let me just count it as I do it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll try to leave a little bit excess on the back so that I can add more station if necessary, but I want to see how many boats eight gets us. How high can this go? Okay, that's, that's our max height. And on this, I'd like to do not one massive drop, but I don't want to have to do two things of chain. Uh, because as we've seen before, that always seems to mess something up. Is that tree in our way? There's something that's in our way. Yeah, it is that tree. 
Okay, so if I do... Oh, that's a steep drop. Oh, but then the land's going to be in our way. Okay, we'll back that off by one. It's probably for the best. And I actually want to make this go back up this hill. So we started at... What the heck? Suspended roller coasters? Suspended swinging airplane cars? Hold on, this is going on pause for a second. What is that? <laughs> Seeing as how this entire park is based around flight and birds, I think that is a must. We're going to close this down real quick. I want to see what that looks like. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so cool. I don't think it changes anything. Uh, two trains, six cars per train. Two, six. Yeah, that is so cool. We got to repaint them. Uh, we did different colors per train, right? And then black and yellow on one. That is so awesome looking. And then this one was yellow, wrong yellow. Yellow and black. I don't think I've ever seen those guys. That is so cool. <laughs> Let's test that and open it. Uh, I don't remember what our intensity or any of our ratings for that matter were. Um, but we did price it accordingly. So if it's more exciting than $6, it was a good change. And even if it's not a good change, I'm keeping it. That's just too cool to not to not change. Um, this footpath is disgusting. Let me fix that real quick. I know I have some guys that can go wherever, but this guy is going to be assigned to all of this. It's kind of a big chunk, but I think he can handle it. I have confidence. Okay, let's get back to water slide one. That takes us to the station, not where we started. There we go. Oh man, that's such a cool addition. It just finished. 624, okay. So it's a 20 cent increase. That was a good change. Even if it wasn't a good change, I was gonna stick with it anyway, cause birds and flight and all that. Okay, that should clear that, 22 to 20. And then I wanna make sure we dip a little bit because I wanna do another big drop. I guess we don't have the room for a big drop. Nah, we'll, we'll go back down steep. And then I'd like to do invisible scenery, but that's going to be just as much of a hindrance as it is a help. Okay, that works out nicely. It's just all the trees that are... The trees are what I need to see, but it's also the trees that are preventing me from being able to see. So it's kind of a, a losing uphill battle there. All right, so we did one steep drop there, and then we'll need to... Oh, that's going to be in the way of the ride. Yeah. Um, let's actually do another... We'll do an enclosed drop just by two. I think that would work. Yeah, it does. Okay, what's in the way here? Still roller coaster? Can I go one lower? I can. There we go. All right. Uh, except this is probably not going to work. Scratch that. Can I get away with this? I can. Sweet. All right. So we're at 12 right now, and we started at 10. Um, I mentioned I didn't want to do a, uh, a second chain lift, and I really don't want to. Um, if we're at 12 right here, uh, what is this footpath at? Let me try to kind of make my way back this direction just to kind of see. Ooh, we're getting away without, without having, getting away with not having to get rid of any of these trees. I like it. I don't like how that looks though. So we'll actually do an S bend to the right here just to get out from underneath all those supports. And then we'll actually drop it back down to 10 here and just kind of try to make it our way back, which will be, looks like fairly easy to do. Uh, that's gonna run right into that. We'll actually do two S-Bends. I really like the S-Bend track piece. I think it's a really, a really cool 
piece. And we'll do one more piece of station that puts us at nine, I believe, if I remember that correctly. And we'll do a station at the very front, like always. And then, not a station, an exit. And then, we'll, let's test this real quick. I wanna make sure this has enough speed to get over all the, all the inclines and doesn't kill anybody, cause I don't want that. Oh, if I do that, that's a really short line. That fountain's actually gonna have to go because this is going to connect up like that. All right, let's watch this thing real quick. Nope. I thought that might be an issue. Okay, uh, that's an easy fix. We just back this off a little bit. And then try to get this to connect back up. And I think that does. Is that complete? No, it's not. All right, invisible scenery, here we come. Ah, that's why. No, I want to select that piece, there we go. Okay, that should work better this time. All right, we'll keep our view on boat one and let's extend this pathway out. Okay, that's good. Sweet, all right, that's done. Um, where was our mechanic over here? He's gonna cover both of these because I don't wanna have to hire another. Watch that, clears it just fine. And I wanna make sure that it clears it. Oh, I'm, I've continually tested it. I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, I need to make sure that this clears it with nobody on it in case it breaks down and, you know. I don't want to repeat the incident that occurred with Mark slash Mildred the Mouse. And it looks like as far as timing goes, this is gonna line up perfectly. We'll see if I'm right. If that one gets back as soon as this one leaves, or right before it, oh, it's perfect. Sweet, water slide one is now open. Medium excitement, high intensity, medium nausea. I'm all right with it. Excitement 499. Come on. Okay, we can easily fix that. I want to charge five dollars for this. Um, let's add a fountain or two in the water. So never mind for the boat hire potentially going right here. That's not going to work. That should be enough to bump us up to 5.0. I hope. Come on. Update. Update, update, update. Maybe there's a certain amount of influence that scenery can have. Maybe there's like a cap on it because there already are a lot of trees. So I don't know if adding more stuff would would do anything. Uh, we'll add one fountain just right here by the, by the entrance. See if that has any effects. It does, perfect. <laughs> there's our $5 charge. And I definitely overshot that. There we go. $5 for water slide one. We need a name and a paint job. So we have the bird bath, which is aquatic themed. Um, we also need, ooh, hold on. I might come back and rename this if I'm wrong, but I believe there's a bird now, even if this isn't water related, it sounds awesome. I'm gonna stick with it. Albatross Alps. They're not actually mountains, but this portion right here, kinda mountain shaped. I don't know. All my names are a stretch, guys. Cut me some slack. Albatross Alps. If nothing else, that sounds awesome. And fun fact, an albatross is also a golf term. Uh, it's getting, what is it? If you get par for the course that's hitting it in the correct number of shots, one under is a, one under par is a birdie, two under par is an eagle, and three below par is an albatross, I believe. <laughs> Feel free to correct me if that's wrong. If you know anything about golfing. But, that is also a bird, Albatross Alps. I think that fits nicely and looks nice and beautiful. I didn't paint it, I need to do that. 
Um, I feel like this color scheme is always the default. Uh, and I'm not opposed to it, but I don't really like that red. Um, what if I make the inside? That is ugly. That's kind of nice. It's very light. Very, very light. Kind of makes me want to change. No, I actually kind of like that. Uh, let's change the supports. I think that's too much of the same color. But if we do black supports, just to kind of blend in with the supports from Flight of the Bumblebee, I think that's going to be our best bet. I think that looks very nice. And then the boats... Let's actually have them be a completely contrasting color. Um, not red. How would yellow boats look on this? Not too bad. I kind of like that. What's actually... Does that look any better? On here it doesn't, but on here I think it does. <laughs> Strange how that works. But yeah, this ride should be breakdown proof. If it breaks at all, they're going to be on the only chain lift. Because as soon as they make it over the crest, it's a straight shot back to the station. So. And how many boats did we get? Because that was kind of my goal. We still got 12 boats with a 9 length of station. So if I can remember, I need to make sure not to ever have more than 9 pieces of station. Because at that point, it's just unnecessary. All right, we are in October of year two. We are just coming up on the end of October, actually. Have we unlocked anything else we can add real quick? I think we have, we have a spiral slide. I already know exactly where this is going. I had a spot for it at the end of last episode and didn't build it. It's gonna go right in this, no. No, it's not. I had in mind for it to go in this corner here and just kind of take up the space. But we don't need to be trying to condense things. What am I doing? Oh, look at that line. It's beautiful. And look at those lines. I don't know if what I did over here fixed it, but we now have very full lines on both of those. So I don't know if that did anything, but I'm going to pretend that it did. And I'm patting myself on the back for my guest walkway manipulating to get them to go where I wanted them to. So... Okay, we can put this, let's do this, we'll do this right here, and we'll do the entrance there, exit here, let's connect up this footpath a little bit, and snag that mechanic while I'm looking at him, log, you're now covering that as well, it's one more tile, you can handle it buddy, I believe in you, alright, and this should all be on the same level, it is, sweet, uh, I don't want that connecting up right there. So to avoid that, I'm going to build it backwards. Perfect. And then we'll have the walkway going out this direction. And then back up this hill to connect to whatever else we build. And eventually, I do want to connect this all up. I'm probably going to connect it... Um, I might connect it on to this exit, maybe? Originally, I was thinking over here, but... We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But let us open slide one. Unlimited rides per emission. Nope, I can't do that yet. <laughs> Unlimited. Now I can open it. And then adjust all this stuff. Five. I think it's what, $1.80? With unlimited rides? I think. Can I see if I'm right? Game, please. Pretty please. No? Okay, that's fine. Uh, Handyman 16, we need, probably, we need to probably add another one. Ooh, 199, I was off a little bit. But the good kind of off. Okay. Slide one is done. I will come back and paint that here in a sec. Ooh, and we just got River Rapids too. This game is giving me all the fun rides to build. Okay, take care of this real fast. Sorry for this. And then we'll get back to slide one. Because it can't be named that. Slide one. Uh, let me pull out my list of names real quick. Uh, but while I'm doing that, I should probably build a couple more 
stalls in this area of our park. Um, we don't have any food. Closest thing we have is a burger bar. So we'll add definitely a restroom. Um, that can go just right here. Restroom's fine. And then, what did I just say? We had a burger bar. We don't have a drink stall yet though. Or not in this area of our park at least. And that can go right here. We'll tuck that in there. Nice and nice and quaint like. And then Hmm. Ooh, okay. I just came up with a name for this. It wasn't even on my list. Um <laughs> Flamingo Frolic. Oh, I just saw that that duck and I thought it was a guest walking up the hill there. Flamingo frolic. And that also means we need to make this pink and white. At least I think that would look nice. Pink and white. And then we'll do a pink floor as well. What is this other kind of... Nope. Definitely the hot pink. Flamingo frolic is now open for business. Well, it's been open for a little bit, but it's now completed. All right, we got our drink stall, we got our restroom, we've got a kiosk, and let's add a pizza stall. And I think that's gonna do it for this episode, once we get this pizza stall built. Cool, that's it, we done. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, these water rides are always, they're so simple to build, but I, I love them, I love them so, so, so much. They're, they're so nice, and just the music, it's, it's all about the music. It just sounds so nice and it makes this area of our park feel so much more peaceful, which I think it should. It's in the forest. It's all heavily, I was about to say it's all heavily forested. Of course the forest is heavily forested. That makes total sense. But it's just very secluded from the rest of our park and it's nice. Uh, in our next episode, we're probably gonna build another coaster or two we have, I think, more money than we have ever had in any of our parks. Um, and we do have a couple rides we could build for sure. Um, we've got the vertical coaster. We've got the single rail coaster. We have an actual non-shuttle loop design steel coaster. Mine train, wooden crazy, and wooden coasters. All of those are options to build in this park. So I'll do a little bit of brainstorming before next episode. Come up with what I want to build, where I want to build it, and we will get that started next time. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, as always, take care.